So we have here this Alpha 147 to do the replacement of the compressor, the AC compressor is being replaced. I already have a very complete video for that. It is down in the description so you can see how it is done. Okay, so we already did the vacuum over here. We are doing the test of the vacuum as we speak. And next we are going to put the Freon in. But unlike on the other video that we did with just our perception of the quantity of gas to put in, we now have here the scale to see exactly how much gas can we put in in this case it will be 450 grams okay so uh any moment now we can open the valve and we can see here on the scale how much how many grams can we put in So as you can see, we have here around 120 grams. Once we reach the 450, we stop, close there the valve. So perfect, right on there. Yeah, some pressure on the lines, okay. Just perfect, 450. So as you can see, we have here now the pressures on the system. Uh, like the other video, we can do a quick test to see if the pressures are correct or not. As you can see, the pressure over here is around two and a half bar on the low side. And on the, on the high side, we have about 10 bar in climbing. Once you reach about 15 bar or around that, you'll have the first stage of the cooling fan kicking in. As soon as the cooling fan kicks in, the pressure starts to drop again. It is not mandatory for the fan to kick in. It depends a lot on the temperature, on the ambient temperature that we have, okay? And it, it is not always necessary for the fan to kick in. It just kick in right now, okay? If you request a higher temperature on the inside of the car, it may not kick in on the fan. It is not the fan that does the cooling, okay? The fan, the cooling of the air that goes to the inside of the car. The fan just cools out the condenser over here. Just that. What makes the cool is the low pressure. The low pressure has to be around two, two and a half bar. Curious thing, as we have the compressor on, the pressures now are not building. So we have the same pressure, five bars over here, around six, seven over there. So it's about the same. The compressor just fail on us. Yeah, that's uh, that's a really bad. If you have this symptom of the compressor turns on and the pressure, the low does not go low enough and the high does not go up, you have a problem on the compressor. Uh, namely that valve, that check valve that we have on the back side of the compressor like you saw on the previous video. So this is very interesting. The the compressor just fail on us. I was doing the Portuguese version that I saw that the, the low pressure was starting to rise just a bit and the high was starting to, to drop and I knew something was up. So beware. Make sure that the, the compressor clutch is on and it is. So we have the request to produce the cold but it is not working so this compressor has to come off again this may happen because we have debris on the inside of the system uh, you have to replace the filter and you have to do a very thorough cleaning on the entire system using an adequate cleaning process and material in the machine and also a product to do so so let's do it okay Sometimes this happens as you charge your AC system, sometimes uh, hours later or days later or weeks later, it does not longer works. And you, yes, we have the correct amount of Freon. Yes, you have the clutch uh, engaging, but you do not have any pressure like you saw here on the video. What is happening now? We must see if we have a problem on the compressor itself, if it failed itself or something made it fail. If so, we have to check out here this dryer filter over here, which is here on this on this car, on this case, here on the radiator. On some cases, we have this style over here. It's all the style. Sometimes it's located over there, sometimes near the radiator, whatever. We have this style of dryer, and we have to see if it is burst. 
If it bursts, the acidic uh, stones that it has may be on the entire system. And if it is true, we must take everything out, including the dashboard, to clean everything out or replace some components. And that may be the issue why the compressor failed. If not, if this, this did not burst, we still have a problem on the compressor and we'll do a warranty on that. So let's try to take out here the cover and with that the filter. This is a plastic one. Let's see if it goes out. Maybe not. What the hell is this? So here you have it, the car is ready. Well, it's not ready to make some cold on the AC system. As you could saw, the filter burst and with that the silica is all over the AC system. So on this case, on this car, in order to do this properly, we have to remove the dashboard to be able to take out the HP system, to clean everything out, including the expansion valve that we have here on the inside of the dashboard. Uh, it is a very big uh, job to do and the customer is not quite ready for that. And because of that, we will do this in another video in the future. We have to take out all of this because we have to clean everything very well with a special product. The product cleans everything very nice. It's not just water and soap. It is a solvent that cleans all of the interior of the hoses on the evaporator and on the AC core as well. So for that, on this case, again, we have to remove the dashboard. It is not very difficult to do. And on that video, I'll show you how to do it. It is still a dashboard to take out, so it is very time consuming, but it is easy to do on this case. It is very, very nice. Also on the 156, it is also very easy to do. Uh, some of you guys may say, well, why can't you just uh, clean out uh, the, the things on the engine bay area and they leave this behind and try to see if it works. It will work, I know that. But as soon as those silica spheres go again into this side, the compressor will have more problems again. And also we start to, to have problems with compression because the silica will create wear on the sidewalls of the cylinders of the compressor, of the AC compressor, just, just like on an engine. So in order to do this properly, you have to take everything out and do, the, do things just one time, okay? So guys, down on the description, you have a playlist for issues and solutions for AC systems, including a rebuild on the AC compressor, just like this one. It was made on my 156. And you have more details and more videos, quick tips and all of that on that playlist. It is down on the description. Also, you have there videos for brakes, for example, for lack of power, for electrical issues and solutions. Uh, DPFs, so much things that can be useful for you. Also, down in the description, you have videos for helps for the channel if you are able to do so. And uh, I see you next time, guys. Bye.